this also just was here. Uh, sorry, guys, I didn't uh, didn't shoot it. It it has gone into 4,500 gallon. I think it's big enough to, to be tried in there. The reason for this uh, rehoming is actually different. It's because uh, the purple label, this anise fish, has been bothering, started to bother our Dorado catfish, which is over there. I don't know if you can see that it. it's scratched up. It's it scratched itself up running away from the little horror or big horror that is the purple label. But purple label cannot go back into the could not go back into the jerk tank because of the Lusoso. Because Lusoso almost killed it there once, which is why the purple label was taken out of there. But now that I'm gonna be trying with also here in the 4500 with the red tails and everybody else Paku, Parun sharks, Jao catfish I will put the purple label back in its in its jerk tank where it belongs I cannot put purple label in here because it's not as tall bodied as Lusoso not as big as Lusoso and uh, it might be an easier prey for all the catfish. Lusoso looks like it reached a uh, two feet total length. So it should be able to handle itself in this tank fine. But of course our, our hobby is a gamble and uh, I can only hope I will keep a close watch, but you never know. You never know for sure what's going to happen. The only timid fish in here, or there are actually a couple, are the uh, almost four foot piraiba over there. and the Lirii, which is surprisingly timid, right next to it, about two and a half feet. So if this also were to bother anybody, I think it would be those two. So I'll be keeping a close watch at, um, on them, and of course on, on the Lososo itself, because whenever new fish goes into this tank, everybody thinks it's in there for their uh, enjoyment as a chew toy, or as their feed. So sooner or later they will try and test taste it. The red tails, the um, I don't know who else may try it. The red tails primarily. Jowls and uh, tiger shovel nose. They're usually and the hybrid tiger shovel nose and red tail hybrid they're usually not so much interested. Hybrid might try it, but it's big and fat. I don't think it, it'll it'll be up for it, but it may try it. The hybrid is about three feet. Something bit his uh, maxillary barbell off. Anyhow, this is the newcomer, Distichotus Lusoso, the biggest jerk in all of my collection. The one with the parrot-like beak, mouth, that just at random pulls the scales out of any fish it wants to. It comes up to fish and um, tears off or bites off their uh, fins. It has a habit of uh, coming up to catfish taking a spine in its mouth and just breaking it off which looks like just for the fun of it or maybe this is the way it copes with stress being alone 
and not being in its uh, in its natural environment in Congo River or wherever else it lives in Africa. But anyhow, I don't know if it's a stress response, but it's uh, as I said, this is the champion jerk in all of my collection. The jerk number two is the above mentioned purple labeo. which is now going back into its tank. This guy. And the jerk number three, since we're keeping up the ratings, are, uh, is the Distichotos Sex Faciatum, or six-banded Distichotos. Neither number two nor number three could live with number one, because number one will kill them. So as you can see, they're in separate tanks. The six banded Distichotos is in here because it is afraid, it has healthy respect for the uh, jello, yellow jello catfish. And it doesn't really bother Pleco much. Any other fish, I mean, I tried putting Paco in this tank. I tried putting uh, Purple Labe on this tank. He tries to destroy them. The six banded Distichotos tries to destroy everything else I put in there. The purple labeo has, has spent probably close to two years in this tank. It usually doesn't pay attention to smaller fish, it doesn't perceive him as a, as a threat to its authority. But the. Uh, and all these years he's been also with the Dorado catfish. But now I've been observing in the past several months that uh, Dorado is getting scratched more and more and it eats less and less and I saw that uh, Dorado is afraid of uh, every time the uh, label comes around Dorado runs away from it so uh, that's the reason for the reshuffle Here it is, number one. Pale and stressed because of the rehoming, but I, it'll come to its senses soon. If red tail, if red tail catfish don't try to eat it too much, they won't eat it anyway. They can't swallow it, and you know, but they may still attempt to see what it tastes like. They are very well fed and uh, they're usually smart enough to know that they cannot eat this fish and just leave it alone. Not always. Unfortunately, not always. So thank you guys for watching. Take care. And keep your water perfect.